talking about baptism. Baptism and what it means, all right? So what is baptism? That is the question. What is baptism? It is a public declaration saying, I have accepted Jesus Christ, and now I am a child of the living God. It is telling the world, hey, I belong to God now. That is, is a declaration, water baptism. It's saying that I believe in Jesus Christ. I am following him now, and I belong to God. And I'm declaring it to the whole world by doing water baptism. That's what it means, okay? So, and, and, and I believe when you do that, that God is pleased with you. He is excited, he is happy, and he is pleased with you. What, what, what does that mean? Okay, check this out. So Jesus got baptized, okay? So he set the example, all right? And in Matthew 3.17, after Jesus got baptized, and as, as he was emerging out of the water, so uh, uh, this is what Matthew 3.17 says. And a voice from heaven said, this is my son whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. So when you get baptized, God is pleased with you. Amen? So another point I want to I tell you guys about it is baptism is a symbol of a new start, a new beginning, a fresh beginning, a, a brand new cleansing. Amen? So kind of look, think about it this way. When you wash your hands, your hands are dirty. Sometimes you don't see your hands that they're dirty, right? But when you wash them, your hands get like a brand new start. Same thing with clothes. When your clothes are dirty and, and then you wash them, right, they're brand new. Well, I mean, they're not brand new, but they kind of are, right? And that's the same, that, that, that's kind of like the same symbolism. And, and in Romans 6.3, it says this, Or don't you know, that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. Verse 4. We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. So, Jesus washed all our, our sins away and this is kind of a symbolization of you, the past being behind you and the new you emerging out of the water. That you have a brand new start, brand new, and that God has erased all your sins in your past. Amen? So, another one that I, that, that I want to point out to you is that Matthew 3.11, okay, and this is John the Baptist. He was baptizing everybody. He baptized Jesus. And so in 3.11, uh, John the Baptist is saying this to everybody. He said this, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay? So John the Baptist is saying, hey, I'm baptizing you with water, but someone comes after me that is going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He's going to transform your heart. He's going to renew your mind. He's going to do an amazing thing within you. So I'm just doing this with water. And that's what we do. When we baptize people, we're doing it with water. It's you coming out, but the amazing thing that happens is that God baptizes you with his Holy Spirit and fire. And what does that mean? So his Holy Spirit, that, that it, it, his Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit will guide you, lead you through life and his fire. He would put his fire for righteousness. Amen. That's what that means. We baptize you with water, but God baptizes you with the Spirit. Amen. That's amazing. And the last point that I want to make is with baptism, Jesus was a prime example. He set the example, number one, but number two, he commanded us to baptize everyone for his name. Whoa. Yes, it is a commandment. Jesus said, hey, I'm leading by example, but I want everyone to be baptized, right? And, and this is what it says. What, what am I talking about? Matthew 28, verse 19. And this is Jesus talking right here. Matthew 28, verse 19. It says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So he commanded us 
as, as ministers, as preachers, as pastors, as evangelists, he commanded us to baptize people. Amen. And we just do it as a symbolization, like we said. But when we do it as a symbolization, God does it eternally. Amen. So, if you have never got baptized, I recommend that you make that declaration of statement, that you go out and declare, hey, I belong to Jesus Christ now. I am a new creation and get baptized. Baptized. And so, talk to your pastors, talk to, you, to, to uh, 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 your leaders at your church, or, or you know, find, some, find a good church if you don't have a church and get baptized. Amen. God bless you. I hope this helps you. I hope this blesses you. And that's what it means. God bless.